All right, so for this uh, solvent extraction two lab, we're actually gonna do the same lab as the solvent extraction one, right? So it's gonna be same as one, except there's gonna be one big difference. Instead of using water, we're going to use 10% uh, sodium bicarbonate solution instead of the water. And so if we think about our benzoic acid, And then we think about the structure of our bicarbonate. Right, we can think about a possible acid base reaction occurring here. And so this would then form sodium benzoate, O minus, and then there's sodium ions floating around and some carbonic acid. And so if we take a look at our sodium benzoate, we see now that we've made it into an ionic compound. And so if we've made it into ionic compound, you wanna think about which layer is it going to go in? And then we can see if our experimental data supports this. Again, we're just gonna evaporate off the DCM layer. And so we'll just see what's left in there and we'll assume the rest is in the water layer. Uh, and so then we're gonna do that experiment. And then we're also gonna do a test for carboxylic acids. So as we can see, one of the products that we get from the reaction of our bicarbonate with carboxylic acids is carbonic acid. Carbonic acid will itself, to some extent, fall apart and transform into water and carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is a gas. And so if we uh, combine sodium bicarbonate and if there's a, a carboxylic acid or an acidic proton there, uh, we should see the formation of some carbon dioxide gas bubbles. So let's go ahead and check it out and see how this goes.
All right, so now we're going to do some chemical tests. In here, I have um, some bicarbonate, and then to this, I'm going to add various acids. So first off, we're going to start off with 6 molar acetic acid. See what happens when we add a drop. Think about what that means. Next up again, I have sodium bicarbonate in here. We're gonna add some propanoic acid. To this one, we're going to add some chloroacetic acid. In this case, we have a solid. And then finally, we're going to add some benzoic acid, which is the compound we've been studying. This one's a bit hard to see, but if you look closely, you can see some reaction occurring.